It was just a dream. A horrible dream. That horrendous woman and the face of my sister. I wish all of this was a dream and my sister is just sleeping in her bed. Instead, her bed is empty and this is reality. This is Martha and me at the festival of the patron saint. It was only a few months ago, and now... Martha had asked for a picture of me to put in this frame. She wanted me to do one of those expressions of mine that made her laugh. Expressions that she couldn't quite imitate. She used to say that those were the signs of my soul. Can a photo capture the soul? Can I capture Martha's soul? Martha's clothes. To me, wearing them will be like having her with me. Mummy will also be happy to see them. Or I could wear my clothes in the other wardrobe. Everything I need is always in my bag. The key to my trinket box. Here is my diary. July 12th, 1944. This is a new diary. We moved here today and I forgot my old one back at home. But that's okay. A new chapter in my life, a new diary. They say they brought us here for our own safety. Daddy, the war, and everything else. Nanny gave us her house and she went to look after the mansion. It's weird being back here after so many years. I remember Nanny telling me the fairy tale of the Lady of the Lake. It's one of the few happy memories I have from when I was little. Nanny isn't here and that's a shame, but Martha is here with me. I also get to see Lapo more often, which is wonderful. He's always hanging around here. Mum is thankfully too preoccupied with fixing up the house to worry about me. At least for now. July 16th, 1944. There's something creepy about the woods. Every time I'm at the lake, I get a strange feeling. Maybe it's the legend of the white lady playing tricks on me. I get weird ideas. I think that there is this presence. Then I think I'm just being crazy. Anyway, crazy or not, I want to take some pictures. I'm not scared. In fact, I'd say I'm excited. I've made arrangements with Martha. She's coming to the lake with me tomorrow to set up two new cameras with timers, and we'll see what we can photograph. Not before a good swim, of course. To be honest, Martha doesn't like photography all that much, and recently she's gone off swimming too. But she does like spending time with me by teasing me. Then, when she gets bored, she disappears into her books, and I do my own thing. We feel right when we're together. Yes, Siri, I'll be right there. I'm just going upstairs to call Martha down for breakfast. Fine, but I'm not sure we should let her sleep all day. What do you think? What did you say? Okay, okay, I won't wake her up. I'll, I'll just turn on her light. So when she wakes up, she'll know when to come down for breakfast. They really think I'm Martha and I can't hear them. I need to be careful not to talk or I will be in serious trouble. Martha's breakfast is ready. 
We can go. Yes, yes. It's getting late. Did you leave the newspaper for Martha? You know how much she likes reading it. Yes, Irena. It's on the table, can't you see? And that camera? Are you leaving it there? Yes, Irena. Can't you leave it there for a few more days? Do you mind? It was for Yulia. I will take it away soon. I, I promise. The sword makes me so sad. Seeing it there is as if... I don't know how to explain it. All right, all right, all right. But let's go now. We have too much to do. We can't stay here all day talking. Mummy is right, though. Martha always read everything. It's me who will now read the newspaper instead. They'll be out all day. The funeral preparations will take them a long time. Everything is more complex with the war. Over the next few days, I will see little to nothing of them. Brutal assassination in San Casciano. Julia Kay, a young woman from a respectable family, brutally murdered near her home. Carabinieri investigates. A possible political motive emerges. Martha was not killed by politics or war. She was killed by something much closer and much less clear. I will find out the truth. Firm Bulwark, even in the skies. 159 aircraft of the Germanic defence shot down in 24 hours. Major Russian operation northwest of Jassy. Enemy convoy lost in the Mediterranean. Two destroyers and six merchant vessels sunk. Julia K. Distressed but supported by faith. Irene E. the mother, Erich the father, and Martha the sister sadly announce Julia's passing. The funeral will take place in La Romola, Thursday, July 20th at 9.30pm, departing from the property of the deceased. First improvements in food registration. Bread rations increased by 50 grams per day as of April 20th. A kilo more every month of soup ingredients. Reforms to the treatment of agricultural workers and an unexpected distribution of jam. For Julia, to take more and more photos, Dad. I can verify that the camera is still working by taking a photo. I could photograph a sparrow. There are so many of them out here. There might be birds around the little wall in front of the house. I always put crumbs on it for them. Excellent. I've taken the picture, now it's straight to the dark room in the cellar to print it. Daddy recently became a general in the German army. He used to take pictures on the front lines, but now he gives me the materials to take photographs instead. Now that Martha is gone, only this camera can fix my ideas and my memories. 
I can't allow myself to forget. These could be of use to me. Daddy set up his darkroom here. He doesn't take photos anymore because of his work, but photography is still his true passion. I'm allowed to use the darkroom when I want to. Not a bad photograph. It seems that the camera works perfectly. Now I can take a self-timed photo for Martha's frame. camera is set up with the self-timer. It's always a thrill to develop a photo. You can't see anything at first, yet something invisible is captured on the black film. A kind of ghost. That invisible breath then returns to reveal the reality from which it was torn. There are those who say that photography steals the soul or captures it. That's why they used to photograph the dead. But nowadays, almost nobody does it anymore. Even if it's just a delusion, I want to photograph Martha. I want to have a small reflection of who she was with me, but I have to do it secretly or they'll think I'm crazy.
Yes, this is me. No one was ever able to tell us apart. But I never had the slightest doubt, and nor did Martha. It's strange how what identifies us most deeply is not visible to anyone. 